Hello everybody, this is B-U-Z-Z Buzz here with another Clash Royale replay. Today, we're doing the best of TV Royale. I'm bringing you guys the most watched, most exciting, most hype replays from TV Royale. Starting with this one. In the bottom blue, we have Inferno. And his opponent in the top red is Assault Juice. And both of these players are here for nothing other than Glory and Elixir. Wait, no. They're here for Clash Trophies. Both of these players are top-level Clashers, giving no inches. As you can see, this game is well underway. Both of these players have given very, very little damage. It is a mirror matchup. I have decided to start this off with a mirror matchup. As you guys know, I do not watch the replays beforehand. So I don't actually know what's happening here. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know... Lots of logs are going to get set off, and it's going to kind of depend on princesses and rockets. Is, 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 is. Yeah. So we're going to see what happens here. Our red player, Assault, is going to use a knight here. The knight will slash off one princess. Unfortunately, Inferno did not get his knight down in time to save that princess. She is going to go after the family of that knight and let him know, hey... You did your country wrong. The left side is taking so much damage right now. Inferno able to connect with his goblin gang. Unfortunately, Assault did have a log, but he just almost like didn't really want to use it. He didn't have it fully in rotation with his Alexer because he was kind of focused on an attack on the right side. But man, that did a lot more damage than he would have liked. Another barrel coming down the left side. It does get logged. Now, these players do want to try and rotate their goblin gangs with a log to try and maximize their damage output here. There is almost no use for an infernal tower. That's why we're not really seeing one drop right now. It's a very high paced game. We have another barrel coming down the left side. It does get logged right away now. Huge attack here on the right side. There is a double knight being built up. This princess is stacking up, but not enough. And double log princess down the middle. We are in overtime, which means the next tower down is going to be GG. Two minutes on that clock. It used to be one minute. If you guys don't remember, Ow, the buzz remembers. Oh, the log was so close to saving those princesses. And if it did, it would have been an absolute disaster for Assault Justin. Fortunately for him, that log was able to connect. Inferno, you know what? These logs, this game, all game has been absolute clutch. We've got another log going to come down on top of those goblins. Interesting ice spirit on the left side, perhaps to distract the princess. While that barrel goes in, very interesting tactics. Both these players are absolutely dialed into this game right now. Every second counts, every single attack animation. That's the frame of the attack animation, guys. Counts. We are about one minute left on overtime. Double extra. Rockets are flying off, my friends. This is going to come down to the wire. Assault. Juicin needs to make something happen here. He does want to maximize his damage on the right side there. He does need to save up for that log. I highly recommend he just build up a night push on the right side. Neither of these players are deciding to do that. This is this is really intense, guys. Another log coming down the left side. Deciding not to use it on defense. Inferno! An interesting choice there. Assault as well. Using an offensive log. Both these players deciding to put it all on the line. But this is going to come down to the rocket use. And Inferno is ahead right now. Assault still using goblin barrels. Which are countered by goblin gangs. So I don't know if perhaps using spells might be a better idea. Neither of these players are opting to do that. Except for Infernal so far. He... Oh my god! Is that going to connect the time though? And it does. I was going to say. It was so good. Yo, Assault was 100 damage off of the right side tower. If his rocket connected and Infernals didn't connect, Assault would have taken this game. GG game number two. Game number two, as you can see, is underway. The last replay had 33,000 views. This one has 40,000 views. In the bottom blue, we have Charbel S. <laughs> His name is Charbel S. 
And in the top red, we have a name I cannot pronounce. Huge attack on the left side. Almost connects with the tower, I believe. Charbo used a zap. I'm gonna have to verify that as he rotates through his cards here. I don't think that that skeleton dragon would have been enough there. I believe he did use a zap to solidify the defense. As I swig from my coffee right here. Guys, I hope you don't mind. As game number two starts to pick up here, we do have a double-sided attack with a battle ram and the bandit on the left side here. She does get hooked in from that fisherman who goes face to face with her. Fish to bat. <laughs> Man, I can't imagine going against somebody who has a fish. I think I would give up the fight immediately. I would just walk away. I wouldn't want to even risk losing to some guy beating me up with a fish. Could not imagine. Charbel S is in Clan Leb Squad. It's quite the popular uh, popular clan. And uh, Leb stands for Lebanese. Lebanese holla. Shout out to the Lebanese. Wow, those infernal, I mean those uh, skeletal dragons. Able to one shot those minions together. Absolutely devastating. As normally it would take a baby dragon two attacks. I guess that's the power of it. We do got a hook on top right up to <laughs> a zap coming down on that fisherman. He will get sliced up. We do have a huge double lane attack here. I think that's going to be disastrous for Charbel. He is taking so much damage. We are 45 seconds left on that clock double elixir. That left side tower is at 200. Will the ghost get another attack off? No, the poison comes down and that will seal the deal. Charbel has to defend this right side tower or take that king tower he does have a royal giant going to town on that king tower he was defended by skeletons they did do wonders against that pekka right now our red player whose name i still cannot pronounce has to make this right side attack happen he does have a bandit coming down there the bandit will take out that tower we do have another royal giant i mean yeah that's a royal giant that's a siege giant that's a royal giant that's a hero giant he has to do a thousand five hundred damage i don't think he will and i think this pekka is actually going to take the game if i'm honest with you <laughs> oh my god he didn't he was so close that's game number two minus 25 trophies for charbel heading into game number three and game number two underway. We say game number two. Game number three underway in the bottom blue. We have Harden. His opponent in the top red is Arhur. Or as I guess he wants his name to be pronounced Arthur. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. But I'm going to call him Arhur. <laughs> Both of these players are here for nothing other than glory and trophies. We do have a Pekka versus Naya Prince on the right side. He an easy victory for the ever shielded, I mean ever armored Pekka. We do have an interesting choice by Harden. I'm in absolute shock that he would throw down a Dark Prince on the right side there, but it turns out to be pretty good and since the fireball was able to work out pretty good for him. The minor, <laughs> the minor place to, very interesting because the electric wizard would have retargeted the tower anyways, right? So a little bit of a, a worried attack there from Harden. Perhaps he's lagging, so he wanted to make sure he was able to get that attack there. Our her, our her <laughs> is our red player, and he did. <laughs> Oh my god, sorry guys, sometimes I'm ridiculous. Harden, right now on the defense, he does have a Prince and an Electric Wizard. It will be pretty good for him as uh, the Prince is pretty sweet. Especially with that Fireball. Will he get another one? Oh, it was so clutch with the Princess Tower defending that Electric Wizard. Unbelievable. Arhur, not going to be too happy about that. Harden, put it on the pain. Trying to, both of these guys are not in a clan right now, so that's interesting. We are entering the one minute mark, guys. Double elixir, anything can happen, absolutely anything. This game is getting bonkers. We have another miner put on the left side. He will slap at that tower there with his fancy sharp, very sharp shovel, which I don't know if he just uses that for mining or if he does 
things to the people that he defeats with it. Who knows? Maybe he buries them after. Who knows? This attack on the left side is so big. The Paco was put on the right side, which means that this attack on the left side for Harden is gonna seal the deal for him on that tower. Now he has to defend against this right side attack here, which is also absolutely devastating. It will do a lot of damage here. The battle ram with the bandit. The bandit will counter that prince. The prince is down. The fireball is also down. The fireball has been absolutely amazing for Harden and can I be honest with you I I'm gonna call it a hacking fireball because I feel like it does too much but oh my god the battle rap connected to that tower what is going on right now Harden suddenly in a hard spot on her Putting on the pain, he does have a Pekka on the defense there, slapping up that giant, able to take him out there before it doing a lot of damage to that tower. Harden is on the defense now, he has to make something happen. He has a Mega Minion, the Fireball does come down. Keep in mind, he does have a Hacker Fireball, which does way too much damage. I'm just like, look how much damage it does to that Pekka, it makes no sense. I'm gonna have to... Call shenanigans on that one. We do have a Dark Prince saving the day for that Prince against that Bandit. A lone ghost put on the left side. It will do as much damage. A giant will tank it out here while the two Princes go to town. They will be interrupted by a Battle Ram. The Ghost did as much as he can against that tower. We do have a huge attack here on the right side. It will do as much as it can, but not enough. Arhur! 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 Try to do what he can, a clutch zap, fireball, is that what Harden's been doing all the game? Zapping and fireballing? I don't know, but it's been absolutely clutch. Been working out for him against this P.E.K.K.A play. From Arhur. Right now, a fireball coming down on top of that defense from Arhur. <laughs> Harden has to do something against this battle ram coming down the left side. He does with a dark prince, no problem. The electric wizard. Able to do a lot of damage to that. Oh my god, the giant a little bit too early. He's gonna eat two Pekka's. No, because Harden does zap that. A fireball will come down as well to try and maximize the damage output because we have 10 seconds left on that overtime clock, which means the most damage done to a tower will seal the deal. We have a thousand damage on the left side tower and 900, 800 on the right side tower, 830, 850. Oh my goodness, Harden taking this game. Our was unable to hold the line. And that, my friends, is a G. G. I need to stop casting for a moment just to like let my heart relax guys that was absolutely intense our her was able to keep himself in the game by taking that right side tower and almost actually winning this game g g thanks for watching guys subscribe subscribe down below and i will see you in the next replay